Hi, this is Bill Bass. The internet has made collaborating easier than ever for students and teachers. Using Google Docs, you can create documents, spreadsheets, presentations, or even forums online. With Etherpad, you can invite other people to a text-only environment in which you can collaborate. Mind mapping software like MindMeister and Bubbleus have made brainstorming online a whole lot easier than it once was. Sometimes, though, what you're really looking for is a way to brainstorm and, uh, and be able to arrange those items a little bit differently and maybe have some longer text as a part of that. Very much like the sticky note kind of approach. So today I want to tell you about Linoit, which is an online sticky note website. L-I-N-O-I-T dot com. When you use Linoit, you get a space in which you can invite people to and then they can place sticky notes on the site. So let's go ahead and log in. And once you're inside you're going to see that they call the spaces canvases and you get as many canvases as you like. So let's go in and look at a sample canvas. On this canvas, you can see that there are a number of different stickies on the canvas. And I can move the canvas around and see what else is there. Okay, this is a sample Linoit canvas that comes when you create an account. Now up here, you have a main menu. Okay, in that main menu, this allows you to create your own sticky notes. So if I want to create a yellow sticky note, first of all, I just click and it gives me a spot to type. So this is my sticky. Down here at the bottom I have formatting options. I can change the font color. I can change the color of my sticky. So you can really categorize those different sticky notes based on what kind of project you might be doing. When I'm ready, I just click post here. And this is my sticky. Okay. Now I can move this sticky note if I want to. Click and drag it around my screen to organize it however I want. Okay, I also have some other options that are down underneath here. Additionally, I could add a picture, a video, a, or attachments to that sticky. What else is nice is this Highlight New button. The Highlight New tells you what the newest items are on that canvas at that time. With these numbers, gives you the order in which those were created and that's just a toggle on and off. Additionally, you can share this by clicking the I, you get a URL, a link, and an embed code that you can put on your website later so that they, people can interact with that directly into your website. Additionally, down here in the lower right hand corner, it shows that you have an awful lot of space for your canvas. So you can really spread out. Truly, in a classroom, you could actually break that up into four different spaces and that's where each of the brainstorming occurs. What else is nice about this is that you can have multiple people on it at, a, at the same time. Linoa has lots of uses. If you plan on using this in the classroom, I'd love to hear how you're doing it. If you have any questions, just let me know.